Today, I'll explain what is the Pythagoras theorem. For that, I will obviously talk about Pythagoras, Katatsai and hypotenuses, but also about seed beds, veggies and mozzarella cheese. And this is math. Hi, welcome! Imagine we are working on a garden like this one and you need to measure a 90 degree angle on the ground. Let's say to settle a rectangular seed bed. How to do this without a giant set square? Let's ask for help to Pythagoras. Unlike other sciences, math is eternal. Explaining. In mathematics, when a theory is correct, it never ceases to be correct. That is, unlike this cabbage, mathematical theories have no expiration date. For example, the Pythagorean theorem is as true today as it was back in Pythagoras' time, 500 years BC. But what is the Pythagorean theorem? When observing a right-angle triangle, Pythagoras' theorem states that when the right angle's opposite side is multiplied by itself, it's equal to the sum of the other two sides, also multiplied by themselves, like this. It's not that hard to memorize it. There's even a school mnemonic to help you remember the Pythagoras theorem. The square of the hippopotamus height is equal to the sum of the squares on the other two heights. Square in Europe, is this the best we can do? But the theorem isn't just a school spill, nor just math trivia. This formula is, in fact, applied in your daily life. Suppose you decide to mark a rectangular seedbed bearing 2 and 3 meters across. With Pythagoras' theorem, you may determine its diagonal length even before you build it. So, the diagonal will have length C and the sides of the seedbeds are 2 and 3 meters. Pythagorean C will be the number that when multiplied by itself equals 13. That is, C is the square root of 13. Calculating square roots by hand is not that practical, but any calculating machine can do it. The square root of 13 is a rounded 3.6, and this is the length of our plot's diagonal. Meanwhile, let's look at the theorem in a more geometric approach. Let's draw a square, leaning against each side of a triangle. There we go. Applying the Pythagoras theorem, we'll know that the sum of both smaller squares' areas is equal to the area of the largest one. What few people know is that this also happens with any geometric shape, provided that they are proportionally scaled. Since our veggies are not fully grown, I've ordered geometric shapes for lunch. Here, mate! Notice that the thing we did with the squares works exactly the same way with pizzas. That is, if you eat the smallest pizza plus the medium one, equates to eating a family pizza by yourself. And the reciprocal of the Pythagorean theorem is also true. Let's say we've got three measures, three, four and five. Three times three is nine and four times four is sixteen. 9 plus 16 is 25, which is exactly 5 times 5. A triangle built with these measures is most definitely rectangular. Whenever you spot three integers like this one, you have found a Pythagorean triple. You can choose any three numbers, actually, even if they are not integers. I chose this ones because they are often used when builders are placing ground. Mr. Rogerio, I never eaten geometry like this one. Very good, tasty. Mmm, mamma mia. Yes, it was, wasn't it? Very good indeed. It was far to imagine.
flimsy. Let's now build our rectangular seed bed. For that, I grabbed a bit of string and shaped a loop with three knots. Distance three, four, and five meters from each other. Pull those out. Now we'll place the rope on the ground so that it's stretched in the shape of a triangle and with a node at each vertex. The angle between the 3 and the 4 meter sides is a right angle. Easy! And now it's time to dig. So, come on, mates, your turn! Let's go! Careful there, the angle should be right. Soldier on! Yeah. And this is math. This is not math. This is hard work. Stop goofing around. 